We thank you, God, for our children. We thank you, God, for the things of the Lord you've given unto us. Right, we even thank you for the things of God we might even, even lost to God. We bless you, God, for we know, oh God, you know how to restore all things. Father, we bless your name in Jesus' name. Even as Paul said, he said, I know what it means to live in plenty and to live in lack. And in all things, I give you thanks. And Father God, we just thank you, Jesus, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We're going to pray according to Romans chapter 8, verse 26. The Bible says, For we know not how to pray, but the Spirit of the Lord intercedes for us with groanings, with words that cannot be altered. So today we're going to pray and say, Holy Spirit, I surrender myself to you, that you will enable us to pray effectively today in Jesus' name. That we will not just pray just words from our mouth, but we will pray words from heaven in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. O God of heaven, we just commit our servant to you today, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, we surrender ourselves to you. We pray for your empowerment and for your enablement upon us in Jesus' name. We pray that you rest upon us, O God, in your power and your glory. We pray that you rest upon us, O God, and your glory, God, will be seen in our lives in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit divine, we pray, let your glory be seen and let your presence descend, O God. Grant us unction, O God. I surrender my tongue to you. I surrender my mind to you. I surrender everything to you, O God. Take charge in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take charge in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We're not going to be praying also from Genesis chapter 28, verse 12. The Bible said, and jo um, Jacob, when he, was, he slept in that place, Bethlehem, he saw a ladder that touched from heaven to the earth. Amen. And the angels of God are ascending and descending. We're going to pray and say, Mighty God, we invite you into this place with all your host of heaven. In Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O God of heaven, O Lord, we just invite you, O Lord, the presence of the living God, the presence of the Most High God, O Lord. We invite that presence in this place, in the name of Jesus, in our life, in our midst, among us, O God. We invite you in the name of Jesus. O God of heaven, Lord, we invite your power and we invite your glory, O God. We invite your presence in this place, in the name of Jesus, O God. We invite your presence in this place, in the name of Jesus. We invite your presence in this place, in the name of Jesus. Father, let's bless your name, O God. We give you praise. We give you all the glory, O God. Thank you, Jesus, O God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Our next prayer point is from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. The Bible says, For we demolish arguments and every pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of God, that we take every, every captive, we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Today we are going to pray and say, Father, we cast out every wicked one and his angels in this place. We bring on that subjection to every high thought in this place in Jesus' name. Let us be to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Today, God, we take our stand, oh God, against every power, against every stronghold, against every witchcraft, against every devil in this place in the name of Jesus. Such that takes the heart of men, such that takes the heart of children, such that takes the heart of God, their minds, that makes people to be distracted in your presence. I say we rebuke, we resist, and we bind them in Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we say we take charge of God in this place of oh God. And we say, Lord God of heaven, we bring every high thought, every thought I exalt against the knowledge of Christ, we bring them under the subjection in the name of Jesus. We pray, let the fire of God begin to burn in this place of oh God. We pray, let the fire of God begin to burn in this place of oh God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 21 reads, He said, These are the horns that scatter Judah. That no one can raise their head. But the craftsmen of the craftsmen have come to, to, to terrify them and throw down these horns of nations who lifted their heads, who lifted their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. Our prayer point today is Father, mighty God, send the craftsmen of heaven to destroy every horn, standing against the work of God in my life, in our families, in this city, and in the ministry in Jesus. Now let us begin to pray. O God of heaven, Lord, we ask, O God, that you send for the carpenters of heaven. Let those four carpenters, O God, descend, O Lord, in our lives, O God, in Jesus' name, and let them come to terrify every horn that is standing against the body of Christ, every horn that is scattering, O Lord, also, God, as a people, as a church, as individuals, as families. I pray every horn standing against us, standing against our children, standing against our health, Standing and against oh God, the grace of God of our lives, we rebuke them, O oh God. We resist them, O oh God. 
We overthrow them in Jesus' name. We overthrow them in the name of Jesus, O oh God. So shall it be, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We are praying. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 reads, He said, The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God, that I will give you the, this day and carefully follow them, you will always be the top and never at the bottom. Amen. Let me tell you, it is not God's intention for us to be at the bottom. When uh, jo Joseph was in the uh, when he was sold into slavery, even as a slave in the house of Potiphar, he was still the head. He said that my master has ev put everything under me except his wife and food which he put into his mouth. Every other thing he has put under Joseph. Amen. Was he, was he a king at that time? No, but he was still the head of the slaves. When he was in prison, he was still the head in the prison. The, the Bible said the warden, the warden put everything under Joseph. Amen. And uh, again, when he even came to the palace, he was next to Pharaoh himself. The head and never the tail. Today we're going to pray and say, Mighty God, every power causing my life to be ordinary. Let it be disgraced today in Jesus' name. Let us be to pray. O God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare in the name of Jesus that whatever is in our life, whatever is in our home, whatever is in our midst, O God, that is causing the lives of men and women to become ordinary. Today we rebuke, we resist, and we bind them in Jesus' name. We say every power, oh God, that wants to make us less than what God has destined for us. That is not making us to be the head. That is not making us to be at the top. I say we rebuke them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare, oh God, that in the every situation in which we find ourselves, the grace will be the head of God. You will give to us in Jesus' name. I say in our offices, we receive that grace in Jesus' name. That we, be, we receive the grace of Daniel. That we are found ten times better than our mates in Jesus' name. So shall it be, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We're still dealing with the powers that is hindering our progress. Let's read Daniel chapter 10 from verse 12 to 13. The Bible says, Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Amen. Our prayer point is, my father, my God, every power in during the manifestation of my greatness, let them be overthrown in Jesus. Let me tell you, the healing you are praying for, the, 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 the favor you are praying for, the promotion you are praying for, the Bible said the first day Daniel prayed, he was received, it was given to him, but the prince of Persia withheld it. Today we're going to pray as the Father of heaven, O Lord, Every power that is in dream, oh God, the manifestation of every prince of Persia, every prince of North America, every prince of Calgary, every prince, oh God, of, 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 of Canada that is withstanding my blessing. Oh, for those who are in Nigeria, I might say, oh, for every prince of Nigeria, every prince of Germany that is standing against my blessing, today let them be dethroned in Jesus' name. Let's be praying. My Father, my God, oh Lord, I decree today, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. That every power, every personality, every spirit of God that is standing over to hinder my blessing, that is standing to hinder my greatness. I say to all God of heaven, let them be dethroned today. That power, oh God, that is causing me, oh Lord, not to attain the fullness of God, which he has given unto me. You said in your word that you have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And over of heaven, every power that is in that manifestation of the blessing in the heavenly places into, into the physical. That it is hindering our children from manifesting. That is hindering our health from manifesting. That is hindering our promotion from coming to pass. I say, God of heaven, that the throne today in Jesus' name. We receive the divine assistance from heaven. Let the host of heaven arise on our behalf and fight for us, O God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's also read Acts chapter 9, verse 18. The Bible said, Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. Amen. He also said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 21, he said, Hear this, you foolish and senseless people. You have eyes, but do not see. You have ears, but do not hear. The theme for the, the word which God has given unto us the month of February is in, from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 9 to 11, which says, Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, or has it entered into the heart of men what God intends to do in our lives. 
Amen. And he said, these are the things that God himself has revealed to us by his spirit. Let me tell you, for other people, no eyes have seen it. But for us, God has given to us to comprehend it. Today we're going to say, and pray, say merciful God, remove every skill from my eye that's injuring me from seeing the greatness you have for me in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, the Bible said, as far as you can see, I will give to you. But do you want to tell me that it is what uh, Abraham saw that he got? He could see more. When God told Abraham, he said, look to the north, look to the south, look to the east, and to the west. Everything you see, I will give to you. Abraham saw more than that. He saw beyond Jericho. He saw beyond uh, Samaria. He saw all those places. And that was why God was able to give it to him. Today we're going to pray and say, Father of heaven, no Lord, every skill, every limitation, it could be laziness that's not letting you do what you need to do. It could be mediocrity. You know that mindset. Oh, th this is enough for me. I'm just, I just don't want, I don't want too much. Perhaps it could be that mediocrity. When God has given you the power to go out and preach, you're telling yourself, I'll just sit in my room and just listen to um, pastors on, on, on TV. Or perhaps God is telling you that you can do something more and you're saying, no, I'll just, I'll be here. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to rock the boat. Today we're going to say, Father God of heaven, every skill, be it laziness, be it mediocrity, be the God, um, you know, thinking less of yourself. Like the God that is injuring you from becoming great. That God of heaven will remove you from your life today in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, that every skill that the enemy, oh Lord, has put over my eyes, that is injuring me, oh Lord, from not seeing that greatness, from not seeing that place, oh God, which you have set aside for me, oh God. Today, let them be removed from my eyes in Jesus' name. As you did unto Paul, that the scales frame off of his eyes, and he could see, and he was baptized, and he began to work for you. I pray, let us be my portion in Jesus' name. That every scale over my life, over the ministry, over my destiny, they all gonna let it be removed today in the name of Jesus. Let those scales be removed today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We're still dealing with powers that are injuring our progress. Psalm 45, verse 7 reads, He said, You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, your God. Your God has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of gladness. Amen. Some other versions will say oil of joy. Today we're going to pray and say, Father, grant me the, the grace to love. Let me tell you, there's no shortcut to greatness if it's not by these two things. Because you love righteousness and hate wickedness, therefore your God has exalted you. Many of us are looking for lottery. Some people are looking, and yet they are looking, they're, they're trying to be dubious and expecting God to bless it. They're trying to be corny and expecting God to bless it. God's going to bless a corny man. Yet a corny man can be rich. The Bible said, he will come to him, but it will go away as fast as he came. We're going to pray and say, Father, Lord, the, grant me the grace of Lord to love righteousness and hate wickedness, that I may attain your greatness in my life in Jesus' name. Let us be to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I just commit myself unto you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray the grace, oh Lord, to love righteousness and to hate wickedness, to desire you above all things. I say let that grace be given unto me, Lord, in Jesus' name. And the grace, oh Lord, to be able to uh, look, receive that, that anointing of greatness, the anointing that came upon up, 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 that that man, oh God, and that he said, make me more honorable than my brethren, oh God. I pray that that anointing come upon me, Lord, in Jesus' name. That anointing that came upon Jabez, that he became more anointed. That anointing that came upon oh God, Daniel, that he was sent time better than his mates. That, that anointing that came upon Joseph, that he became a, 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 a savior to his own brethren. I pray that that grace come upon me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Our next prayer point is from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. Say, however, as it is written, what eyes has not seen, what no ears have heard, what no mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. The things that you people cannot imagine that will happen. Amen. Yeah, I remember um, they said, um, and this is just for Ike. I don't know why I, that, that example came to my mind. She said she has never been married. And I remember there's a man in Nigeria, um, um, Pastor Kumui. His wife died. I think he was over 17 at the time. And um, his wife died. And so people encouraged him to have his spouse. And there was a 60-year-old virgin in his church who has never been married. She was a virgin, a 60-year-old woman, and she got married. To be honest with you, these are things that no eyes have seen. 
No, if anybody told that woman that you'll be getting married to a very noble man, she'll say, How is it possible? Who's gonna marry me at 60? Amen. Today we're gonna to pray and say, Father of heaven, Holy Spirit, I surrender myself to you that you open my eyes to the greatness in store for me so i might take hold of my blessing I, well, the pastor just want to read this he said this thing has been prepared for those who love him these are the things god has revealed to us by his spirit the spirit started all things even the deep things of god i just want those god to begin to reveal to us those businesses let me tell you people are saying that um there's no money in canada people are buying homes people are building homes they are building structures in downtown they are building a new mall and uh, by cross iron you want to tell me that it is animals that is going to live in the stores people already bought the stores those stores are already for people there's a new store it's going to be the largest the one next to uh, cross iron it's going to be the second largest in canada or in uh, abata in canada amen it's going to have over 100 and something stores or whatever it's stores i don't know i, I forgot a oh, more than 500 stores amen we're going to pray. Just say, Father, Holy Spirit, I surrender myself to you, God, that you open my eyes to those ideas which you have set aside for me in Jesus' name. Let us be to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I just surrender myself to you, oh God. I pray that you open my eyes, oh God, the eyes of my spirit, man, oh God, that I might begin to see those greatness that you have in store for me, that greatness that you have in store for my wife. That is great thing that you have in store for the church. That is great thing that you have in store for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. That what even I myself could not even comprehend. I pray that you bring to come bring the manifestation in Jesus' name. Father, I bless you, God, and I give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to another segment which is overpowering the powers of the night and darkness. Let me tell you, everything that is made manifest in the day begins at the night. Amen. And I pray God we help us in Jesus' name. If you want to know that it's going to be cold, if winter, summer, winter is coming to manifestation, what happens? The night becomes longer. If uh, summer is ending, what happens? Night becomes longer and days become shorter. Amen. But when the light is going to manifest more, the night goes back further and days becomes longer. Today we're going to pray according to Psalm 121 verse 6. It said, the sun will not harm me by day not the moon by night today we're going to pray and say father i rebuke every power of the night challenging the goodness of god in my life let me tell you many people have lost their virtue in their dream they dreamt that something pinched them in the arm they woke up they have um, a pain in the arm and it never went away and that's how the pain began amen i remember one night we were, i think it was myself and my wife we just woke up and we have um allergy just itching and you don't believe it it became something that he did want, not want to go. The allergy began, it, it, it all started at that night. Amen. Today we're going to rebuke. And you like it or not, these are things that happen. The enemy manipulates things. Amen. Today we're going to pray and say, Father, we rebuke every power of the night. Challenging the goodness of God in my life in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we take our stand, oh God, in Jesus' name. Upon Psalm 121, verse 6. You said the sun shall not smite us by day, neither the moon by night. And today, God, we decree by the unction of the living God that every power of the enemy that manifests by night, challenging our goodness, we overturn them in Jesus' name. Every power of the night, oh God, that, that works at night to cause evil, to cause backwardness, to cause regression. I say we will uproot them, oh God, we resist them, and we bind them in Jesus' name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. We are still going to take that same prayer point from Psalm 91 verse 5. He said, you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that flies by day. The, arrow, the Bible knows what it's talking about when it talks about the terror by night and the arrows that flies by day. We're going to say, mighty God, arise and make of no effect every arrows of the night, every arrows of sickness, every arrows of back, uh, backwardness, every arrows of bewitchment, every arrows of lack, every arrows of joblessness, every arrows of regression. I say, O oh God of heaven, make them of no effect over me today in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O oh God of heaven, Lord, we stand upon your word in Psalm 91 verse 5. We decree, O oh God, and we declare, O oh God, you said in the arrows of the night, O oh Lord, we shall not fear the arrows of the night, the terrors of flies by night, the terrors of the night, not the arrows of flies by day. And we pray, O oh God, every arrows of the witches, of the wizard, that brings that, that brings sadness, that brings regression, that brings lack, that brings joblessness, that brings real, uh, that brings, O oh God, um, sickness in the in the lives of men. We rebuke such arrows in Jesus' name. We overthrow them, O oh God, in Jesus' name. 
We are praying. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 5. Amen. Please, I just want to encourage you. Don't be tired. I know the prayers are a little bit lengthy. Amen. But the Bible said that they prayed and they sang and the prisoners heard them. And then the, the foundation of the prison shook and the chains holding their hands broke off. Amen. And I pray that the chains over our hands will break off today in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 5 reads, said, Then he said to me, Son of man, look towards the north. So I looked, and in the entrance of the north of the gate of the altar, I saw the idol of jealousy. Today we're going to pray. Say, Father, I speak, we speak against every altar of jealousy of my father's house that is in my life. People look at you and just, they just hate you. They despise you. Your children just don't want anything to do with you. Your wife is saying, oh, oh, your mouth stinks. Don't even kiss me. But she kissed her mouth before she married you. Now, your mouth is no more longer worthy to be kissed anymore. We're going to pray and say, Father of heaven, O oh Lord, every idol of jealousy, O oh God, that is destroying my goodness, O oh God, today I will speak and we will rebuke them in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, and we declare in the name of Jesus that every altar, every, we speak against every altar of, 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 of jealousy, O oh God. Against that, that idol of jealousy, we rebuke, we resist, and we bind them in Jesus' name. Such altars that is speaking against our life, that is causing our, in our workplace people to hate us. That is causing us not to receive favor before our bosses. That is not, it's not allowing us to receive joy in our homes. That is not allowing us to receive peace in the, in the homes of our children. That's not allowing us to receive oh God, favor oh God, with our spouses. Oh God, today we will speak against that altar. We uproot it, O oh God, and we demolish it in Jesus' name. So shall it be, O oh God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. Verse 14 of that same Ezekiel chapter 8 says, Then he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord, and I saw the women sitting there mourning the God of Tumors. Today we're going to pray against every spirit of witchcraft. Let me tell you, many people will say, where do you find such prayers in the Bible? Or when do you find such things? Read the book of Ezekiel. Many people always assume that these things are were, con were conjured by people. In Jesus' life ministries, like chapel, at least for we know, every prayer point is backed by God's word. It's from the scripture. So we're not praying something out of the air. Amen. We're going to pray and say, Father, we shut every voice. You can sit there, the women sitting there and mourning the, to the God of Thomas. The way we're going to say, every voice of witchcraft, crying in my, in my household, in my father's house, in my house, in my house that does not allow him to receive joy. Every voice that is crying out, we say, O oh God of heaven, today we silence them in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O oh God of heaven, Lord, we stand upon your word in the name of Jesus. We shut every voice of witchcraft to God. Every voice, O oh God, that is sitting down in my father's household, in my mother's household, in my household, O oh God. In my place of work that is crying against my destiny. Today, O oh God of heaven, we silence those voices in Jesus' name. The voice of the wicked man, O oh God, we silence them in Jesus' name, O oh God. We overthrow them in Jesus' name, O oh God. Thank you, God, for all you have done, O oh God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I pray God we help us. I think the prayer is still more. Ezekiel 8 verse 16 says, Then he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord, and there at the entrance of the temple, between the patio and the altar, were 25 men, with their backs towards the temple of the Lord, and their faces towards the east. They were bowing down to the sun in the east. And for some of us who live in the northeast, we know, let me tell you, you ask yourself, why is it that the Muslims and the Asians prefer to live in the northeast of every city? Go to Toronto. Brampton is the northeast of Toronto, and yet that's where they come. And let me, let me tell you, they will take that place, and that's all they will stay. But the the Africans and the Caucasians, we don't we don't even know what it means. We just keep running all around. These people conjure and um, and enchant to the moon, to the sun. When the sun is rising up from the east already, they're enchanting to it, speaking that everything will work in their own favor. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 9, he said, there's no place where their voice is not heard. That is, it's talking about the sun and the moon. He said, despite they have no voice, but there's no place where their voice is not heard. Today we're going to pray and say, Father Lord, we take our stand against every man standing to draw power from the heavens. Against our destiny, we, say we rebuke them in Jesus' name. For, 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 for us, we live in the northeast. Every, you see those houses, they now have like a pinnacle at the, at the top of the house now. They have like a, um, like a pole, like a, like a pole. It is a 
a, a, way, a way of drawing power from the heavens. You know, because, the, and they, they, they normally put it at the, um, at the point where there's like um, a triangle. Like, like, like what? Like an acme, yeah, whatever that word means, yeah. That point, that's where they put it so you can draw power from the heavens. If you drive, if I drive in my home today, look around you. You see it. You see all those houses have those points. Amen. You won't find them in the southwest. You won't find them in the south, uh, whatever. You, but you find them in the northeast. Amen. Today we're going to pray the Father of heaven, O oh Lord. Every power, of God, drawing power from the sun I, to, 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 to challenge my life, O oh God. Let them be overthrown in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O oh God of heaven, O oh Lord, I stand upon your word in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that every power drawing, O oh Lord God, powers from the heavens, I rebuke, I resist, and I bind in the name of Jesus. I overthrow them in the name of Jesus, O oh God. I say, O oh God of heaven, they are made null and void. They are made null and void in the name of Jesus. They are made null and void in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Such powers, O oh God, we overthrow. Such powers, O oh God, we nullify. And we cast out in Jesus' name, O oh God. So shall it be, O oh God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. On that section for uh, overpowering um, the, the powers of the night and darkness, I just want to just begin to pray and say, Father, every affliction that is manifesting in my life through from the realms of, of dream, we say we nullify today in Jesus' name. Every affliction that has come to, into my life through the manipulation of dreams, that, oh, you saw yourself falling down. And from that day, your business, everything about you was just going down. That today, O oh God of heaven, we nullify them in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. O oh God of heaven, Lord, we say every affliction, O oh God, manifesting in my life, O oh Lord. O oh God, from the realm of the dream, from the dream realm, O oh God. I say today, O oh God, we nullify them, O oh God. We resist them, O oh God. And we bind them in the name of Jesus. We make them null and void in the name of Jesus. Such powers manipulating our dream life, O oh God. Manipulating our, 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 dream, our dream realm, O oh God. Pre projecting or oh going to our dream to afflict us. I say, O oh God, everyone, we nullify them in Jesus' name. Every astral travel into our dreams we rebuke them in jesus name so shall it be oh god we give you praise in jesus name we are praying amen. jeremiah now we're going to pray over the church and the city amen we're in the last segment right now jeremiah chapter 29 verse 7 it reads it said also seek the peace and the prosperity of the city to which i have carried you amen pray for pray to the lord for it because if it prospers you will also prosper Amen. Many people might not be able to buy houses anymore. Why? Because the interest rates has risen up and the criteria for the uh, qualification has become harder. Amen. I remember when we first came, somebody told me, oh, if you guys just came a year ago, you were buying houses for zero down. The bank does not even want you to bring any money. Zero down, you have a good credit, they'll give you mortgage. But now, they're asking for 5%. Now, they're even going up to 19%. Amen. They're asking you for something more. They want, they want to see they want your debt ratio in regards to that. We're also going to pray and just ask, pray, say, we're going to pray that the, the peace of God will rest upon the land of Calgary. That every power of recession, every power of regression, every power of uh, economic downturn, we overthrow them in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray and we declare in the name of Jesus, oh God, that, oh Lord, we pray over the city of Calgary, that you will help us, oh God, that you will grant us grace in Jesus' name, that, oh Lord, you will, oh Lord, you bless Calgary. You, will, you bless the, the city of Calgary in the name of Jesus, O oh God. We speak over this land, O oh God, that this land will excel, this land will prosper in the name of Jesus. That, O oh God, this land, O oh God, will receive peace, O oh God, in Jesus' name. That the power that is causing regression, that is causing backwardness, that is causing economic downturn, we overturn them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Right now, we're going to pray for Jesus' life ministries. According to First Corinthians chapter three verse six, Paul says, "I planted, Apollo watered, but God is make the increase." Today we're going to pray and say, "Father, as we do the work of ministry, as we teach, as we preach, as we begin to do evangelism, that the God of heaven will cause an increase in our midst in Jesus' name." Let us begin to pray. O God of heaven, Lord, we commit the church of God unto you, O God. You said, O Lord, you are the one that can bring increase, O God. But I know God of heaven, we pray that we begin to do the work of the ministry. As we begin to do the work of an evangelist. As we begin to preach and teach, O God of heaven, I pray that you will cause an increase in our midst in Jesus' name. You will cause an increase in our midst in the name of Jesus, O God. Father, we bless you, God, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. 
Also, we're going to pray again to Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. He said, on this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell will not overcome it. We're going to pray and say, oh, heavenly Father, we declare that every gate of hell standing against your church be uprooted today in Jesus' name. Let us be to pray. Oh, God of heaven, we pray and we declare, Lord, in Jesus' name, that every gate of hell against your church, oh God, we rebuke, we resist, and we bind in the name of Jesus. Every gate of hell standing against the body of Christ that is resisting, oh God, the growth of the church, that is resisting, that is causing men not to receive the, 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 the heart to serve God. We re rebuke them, oh God. We overthrow them, oh God, in Jesus' name. So shall it be, oh God, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Also from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24, say, when they call, I will answer while they are speaking, I will hear. And the book of Job chapter 22, verse 28 also says, you will also declare a thing and it shall be made established. Amen. And Jesus Christ himself said in the book of John chapter 14, verse 13, he said, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. Amen. I just want to just begin to prophesy to yourself that the God of heaven will grant you grace in Jesus' name. For we know he has heard us, that the name of the Lord God will be praised and exalted in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, just want to thank you God for the answer prayers of God. We thank you God for all you've done. We thank you for your favor, for your grace, oh God. Thank you God for all you have begun and we thank you for all you will continue to do, oh God. Thank you Jesus, thank you oh Lord of God. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus of God. We bless your name, oh God. For we know we have received our answers today, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you, God, for your word which you have given to us. Say, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no eyes it entered into the heart of men what you intend to do in our midst. And, O God of heaven, we pray and we declare, O Lord, in Jesus' name, that the things, O God, which we ourselves could not even comprehend, that you will do in our lives, in Jesus' name. That this month of February, O God, we shall seek God, O Lord, in his power, in his might, in the name of Jesus. That things, O God, that in the areas we have failed before, we begin to succeed in Jesus. Thank you for all the donor God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.